Robotics technology is not new in military applications as it has been used widely by armed forces across the world for many years. Today, armed forces leads the charge into the future with their innovations in robotics. According to military experts, armed forces will be 30 to 50 robotic already in the next decade. Missiles will be flying too fast for humans in order to make important defensive actions on their own. In addition, drones will be able to attack in self-guided swarms and soldiers will control columns of robots. Military robots can provide a backup during artillery fire and lower the number of casualties. They can also provide a potentially large hostile area by recognizing a variety of threats with precision. So hello and welcome back to Robot Future where we provide you the most interesting information about the artificial intelligence and a variety of other topics. Well I hope you would be really excited to know about these impressive military robots. And if you then stick to this video till the end and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Let's start. According to National Defense Magazine, robotics funding for the military increased from $17 million in 2015 to $379 million in 2021. This number is continuously increasing as robots play the most significant role across the entire field of military operations. As more robots means greater effort of people to work with those robots, and the armed forces in this regard continues to be a source of robots training for soldiers. Besides the primary role of robots in the armed forces, which includes building, sending, and maintaining equipment and machinery, there are some really impressive developments being made with robots that have more active roles. Number 5. Mars Powerful, modular, and combat-ready, the Modular Advanced Armed Robotic System, Mars, is an unmanned ground vehicle, UGV, designed specifically for reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition, RSTA, missions to increase the security of personnel manning forward locations. It can be positioned in the remote areas where personnel are currently unable to monitor their security and can also carry a direct or indirect fire weapon system. Mars keeps soldiers at a safe distance from enemy fire while effectively executing security missions such as ambushes, hostage rescue, forced entry, and many more. Remote placement of RSTA sensors into critical locations can be made up to several kilometers away, signaling threats and enabling an immediate response if required. Mars is operational only when receiving coded instructions from its operator. However, this machine limitations and can only travel 1,000 meters away from its controller, but it does have day and night cameras, motion detector, an acoustic microphone, a hostile fire detection system, and a loudspeaker system equipped with siren to provide optimum situational awareness and alarm. Mars Robot offers measured response capability at standoff distance, contributing to warfighter safety and tactical flexibility. It employs a unibody chassis with plug-and-play design, employing a range of sensors, effectors, and weapon systems. Mars Robot can project the operator's voice through mounted loudspeakers, or alternatively, to activate pulsed iSafe Green Laser Dazzler. Mars is also extremely safe and temper-proof as it can be operated only when receiving properly coded instructions from its operator. Mars robot wields machine guns and sets explosives. Mars has some limitations. It's not hands-free since operators need to hand reload it and it could be stopped by rougher terrain. Number 4. Safir. If there's one job that a person would probably prefer to lose to a robot, it would be fighting fires aboard ships. To help make such a vision a reality, the U.S. Navy and the Office of Naval Research, ONR, released details of demonstration exercises conducted by their shipboard autonomous firefighting robot, SAFIR. SAFIR's purpose is firefighting and damage control. It uses thermal imaging to locate and identify fires and LIDAR and other sensors to map areas and see through smoke. The last time we saw Safir wasn't much more than an aluminum core and two legs, but now it looks more impressive. While the Safir program showed enormous promise and broke new ground in how we might envision firefighting efforts aboard ships in the future, the program itself has evolved. Eventually, it will be able to walk and handle fire hoses on its own, but at present it's restricted to remote presence control. 
However, even when it gains such capabilities, it will take its instructions from sailors and fire bosses working remotely. Sapphire stands 5 feet 10 inches and weighs 143 pounds. Its upper body has been designed to manipulate fire suppressing equipment and even to throw propelled extinguishing agent, peak grenades. The robot, say developers, can handle a fire hose on its own. The ultimate goal is for Safir to work in tandem with Navy officers, not replace them. We're working toward human robot teams, McKenna said. It's what we call the hybrid force, humans and robots working together. Number three, Dogo. Well, what a cute name for a robot you might say. Yes, the small machine roaming around on two treads could be mistaken for a kid's toy at least until it whips out its 9mm Glock. That's right, the Doggo robot is a light robot armed with a 9mm Glock pistol. It is your robotic watchdog at the field. About a year ago, the company developed Doggo, a small robot that is intended for short-range combat. The Doggo robot provides your team with live video reconnaissance and the ability to neutralize threats remotely via a simple and intuitive operator control unit. The new robot is optimized to assist SWAT teams and close quarters combat, CQB, inside buildings and underground. With a faster point and shoot interface, Dogo can accurately move, designate and use lethal or non-lethal means simply by clicking on the screen. Until Dogo, the only way to obtain such capabilities was to send a team member into the potentially deadly situation, risking them suffering enemy and friendly fire. Designed by Israel's General Robotics Dogo weighs a mere 24 pounds and is considered to be lightest combat robot in the world. Dogo can communicate with the enemy in sight using a special speaker allowing for negotiations prior to shorts being fired or to confuse them with simulated noise and distractions like barks or sirens. Weighing 12 kilograms, Dogo MK2 has two front extenders, enabling it to overcome obstacles and stairs using a stair climbing mechanism. According to Gale, Dogo Mark II has already been delivered to special forces among which are NATO members and has been pre-ordered by several other customers. Number 2 The RoboB RoboB is a tiny robot capable of partially untethered flight, developed by a research robotics team at Harvard University. The culmination of 12 years of research, RoboB solved two key technical challenges of microrobotics. Engineers invented a process inspired by pop-up books that allowed them to build on a submillimeter scale precisely and efficiently. To achieve flight, they created artificial muscles capable of beating the wings 120 times per second. Additional modifications allow some models of RoboB to transition from swimming underwater to flying, as well as perch on surfaces using static electricity. Inspired by the biology of a bee, Researchers at the Weiss Institute are developing RoboBees, man-made systems that could perform myriad roles in agriculture or disaster relief. A RoboBee measures about half the size of a paper clip, weighs less than one-tenth of a gram, and flies using artificial muscles compromised of materials that contract when a voltage is applied. The masterminding of the RoboBee was motivated by the idea to develop autonomous microaerial vehicles capable of self-contained, self-directed flight and of achieving coordinated behavior in large groups. To that end, the RoboBee development is broadly divided into three main components, the body, brain, and colony. To construct RoboBees, researchers at the Weiss Institute have developed innovative manufacturing methods, so-called pop-up microelectromechanical MEMs, technologies that have already greatly expanded the boundaries of current robotics design and engineering. The goal of the RoboBee project is to make a fully autonomous swarm of flying robots for applications such as search and rescue, surveillance and artificial pollination. Number 1. Gladiator the Gladiator is the coolest remote control car anyone can own, so the military decided to customize one of their own. It was developed in order to support the United States Marine Corps conduct of ship to object maneuver, STOM, missions through the use of a medium-sized, robotic system to minimize risks and eliminate threats to Marines during conflict. Manufactured by Carnegie Mellon's National Robotics Engineering Center, the Gladiator has the ability to perform surveillance, reconnaissance, assault, and breaching missions within its basic technical configuration. 
Although it tops out at 10 miles per hour the Gladiator trades speed for toughness it has an armored hull and packs a serious punch with missiles grenade launchers and machine gun mounts to be specific. The Gladiator can be equipped with day and night cameras. A chemical detection system, a light vehicle obscuration smoke system, an M249 squad automatic weapon, the M240G medium, a machine gun, a 9mm Uzi, or an anti-personnel or obstacle breaching system. The Gladiator was designed with the intent to be easily transported to different parts of the battlefield. Rated for many types of environments, the Gladiator was to enhance the ability of Marines to accomplish assigned mission tasks. The purpose of the Gladiator was to be teleported just forward of the Marine units, performing basic surveillance, obstacle breaching, and reconnaissance tasks while permitting the operator to remain out of the line of danger. That's it for today. Which of these terrifying robots would you definitely not want to encounter in a dark alley? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. See you in the next video.